Hi there. Now in part A for this question, we showed this result here for cosine 6 theta. Now we're being asked to hence solve between 0 and pi upon 2 this equation. Given your answers are the exact multiples of pi. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't had a chance to do it, just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back you can check your working against mine. Okay, let's see how you got on if you had a go. So how does this connect up with what we've got here? Well, I can see that this equation is double this one. Okay, doubling this would give us these first three terms. Then we'd have minus two here. So to get the minus three, it must be just another minus one. So therefore, what we've got is two cosine of six theta, and then minus another one would equal zero. Okay, so that would be the equivalent of this up here. Okay, now it's just a question of just rearranging this then. So we've got cosine of six theta equals a half, and obviously six theta would be equal to the inverse cosine of a half. We're working in radians and inverse cosine a half in degrees would be 60 degrees so that is what pi upon 3. So I'm just going to think of the quadrant diagram here that's naught radians marking then that I've got a possible value for 6 theta there and I've got a possible value of 6 theta there. These two angles are exactly the same this would be a 6 theta and we've got this one round here, which would also be another 6 theta. And the angle, if we inverse cosine this in radians, then uh, is pi upon 3 radians. So we've got, that's pi upon 3, each of those little blue angles there. So we can then work out what our range is going to be. We've got, therefore, 6 theta must be equal to pi upon 3, this first angle here, then it must be equal to this one round here, 5 pi upon 3, and I'm going to be dividing through by 6 in a moment, so I can see that I need another one, so that would be 2 pi plus another pi upon 3, so that's 7 pi upon 3. The next one would be a complete couple of complete turns minus pi upon 3 that would be 11 pi upon 3 but if I divide this by 6 in a moment 11 pi over 18 but I can see that if I divide through by 6 in a moment this one will be out of range. I'll get 11 pi over 18, so we'll forget about that one. That's out of range. So dividing through by 6 leaves us with theta equals pi upon 18, and then 5 pi upon 18, and 7 pi upon 18, all between 0 and pi upon 2. Okay.